when we got back from dinner last night, I did have another another boat that had pulled in really close to us. I actually told him to move and he wasn't having it. Man, I have to say, having a windlass is pretty freaking nice. Every time I anchor, I get a little bit more confidence. Pretty big uh, tanker coming up in a really close CPA of 0.22 miles. Autopilot wasn't doing so well, so I'm just steering by hand. Sheesh. I'm booking. Hello sailors. My name's Andy and this is my wife Misty. A few years ago we bought an old neglected sailboat for 3500 bucks and I've been working on it ever since. I literally learned how to sail on YouTube but later we both took some lessons. I used to think that sailing was only for rich people. It's not. I used to also think that you had to sail around the world to have fun. You don't. Click subscribe, give it a thumbs up and join us and we'll show you how much fun you can have coastal cruising on a cheap sailboat. Welcome to Sailing Soleil. Little Fisherman's Cove is in two harbors on the front side of the island. They have really good camping. It's to the left when you're approaching two harbors. Great snorkeling, there's hiking all around, and you don't really need a boat to enjoy that area. You can take the flyer or the express and go to two harbors and then do some camping. Okay, I've been sitting here at uh, Little Fisherman's Cove for a couple hours now on Anchor Watch, just hanging out, enjoying myself, and we're not really dragging or anything, so everything's all good. Um, I don't think I put out enough stern road, so next time I'll put out more. But uh, Chris from SV Aeronautical, um, flight level zero, he just came by and said that uh, they're gonna head to shore, and Mark called me a little bit ago from um, Kill Dragger, and he said he's heading over to Harbor Reef, so I'm gonna go meet up with them guys over there and um, have some dinner with some friends. Oof. Okay. Stoked is looking a little dirty. I gotta polish the sides. My dinghy's dirty, everything's dirty. I thought I kept up on my Guess not. We got some uh, dirty haul going on here. See you, Stoke. When I got back from dinner, there was another boat anchored in between myself and the other boat. And man, they were really, really close, like 30 feet or something. Good morning. We're here at Fisherman's Cove. Everything went well with the, with the uh, bow stern anchor. When we got back from dinner last night, I did have another, another boat that had pulled in really close to us right here in between us and the other boat. As you can see, there, you know, there's two boats right there. I mean, he, he's probably 30 feet from me, pretty close. Um, I actually told him to move and he wasn't having it, but what, what can you do? You know, it's just bad etiquette. But anyways, this morning, just using the jet boil, boiling up some water, gonna have some instant coffee. Just head to shore, walk around a little bit, stretch my legs. This is the last week of the summer, and it almost looks like ghost town already. A lot of boats, but not a lot of people. So over there is Cat Harbor. There's the road that goes over, and that's uh, Isthmus or Two Harbors. So that's where the Harbor Reef and everything is. And they got a bunch of trails and roads that go up this way. I wanted to take a little hike this morning, just to get out and stretch my legs, but I didn't realize what time it is. It's already like 9.40, <clears throat> and I kind of wanted to get out of here by 10. Misty gets off work, at, or she's doing an open house today, and um, she'll get done with that at four o'clock.
Having a windlass is pretty freaking nice. That is so much easier, jeez Louise. Good morning, Aeronautical. Just uh, letting you know I'm heading out. You guys have yourself a good sail back to the mainland. Over. Great, thanks, you too. Over. Copy, all right, see you next time. Cheers, over and out. All right, we're just uh, heading out right now. <clears throat> we got some wind, it looks like later on I'll be up to like 15 knots. So we'll get some good sailing in this afternoon. There's Bird Rock. Say goodbye to uh, Two Harbors, Little Fisherman's Cove. That was awesome. Every time I anchor, I get a little bit more confidence. So I gotta keep, I gotta keep it up. canvas just uh, cruising along at four knots in eight knots of wind and I'm perfectly content with that we have been sailing without the motor the whole time it's been really nice and uh, the wind has died now we have five knots of wind and we're doing 2.4 knots so I'm gonna have to throw in the towel for a little bit hopefully the wind will pick back up so I've got a pretty big uh, tanker coming up in a really close CPA of 0.22 miles. I've hailed him on the VHF, but um, he kept asking for my boat name as if I have AIS and I don't. All right, so that boat, Girasol River, we're actually crossing his bow. I was noticing that uh, he slowed down and our CPA was growing. So it was getting further and further. So the CPA is now at 0.8 nautical miles, which is still a little close for comfort. I, but I, I brought out a little bit of the head sail. We got some decent wind. We're at 13 knots of wind, so we're doing six knots. I'm getting in front of him pretty quick, um, but I'm keeping the motor on until we're past him. After that, probably be able to do some sailing. So motor's off. We're sailing again. We got 15 knots of wind. Apparent wind angle is uh, about 90 degrees, so right on our beam. And uh, we're doing 6.5, right around there. It, it drops down, obviously. But um, autopilot wasn't doing so well, so I'm just steering by hand. I did a little research to find out why my autopilot wasn't doing very well in these downwind conditions in 18 knots of wind. And it turns out the best thing I could have done was reef the main or strike it completely. And maybe the autopilot could have kept up with those conditions. Other than that, the only thing I could do would be upgrade the boat with some other equipment. So next time, I'll just try reefing the main and see if the autopilot works out. Sheesh. I'm booking. Booking along at six and a half plus. Woo! Yeah. Hand steering is so much faster, man. It's, my autopilot really does not like to steer with the wind on the beam, I don't know. I put it on performance mode. I did go into the settings and put it on performance and it was a little better, but when the, when the wind is a little bit aft of the beam, it just doesn't seem to do very well. But by hand, we're doing seven, 6.9. Again, next time I'll just reef the main or strike it and the autopilot will probably be able to keep up and we may even keep the same speed, we'll see. Man, this is awesome. My hull speed is seven, uh, six point seven knots, and we're sustaining that, and sometimes more. Sheesh! Ah, oh. we've got pretty close to twenty knots of wind. All right, there's Queen's Gate coming through right now under sail. We are back in the Long Beach breakwater. All 
All right, that's it. Please subscribe, give it a like, and send me a comment. I uh, reply to all the comments. That was a trip to Little Fisherman's Cove with my first time bow and stern anchoring. That was a lot of fun. And uh, hope you liked the video. Take it easy. See you next time.